Hi there. I have just started crocheting this year and one of my quarantine projects was coming up with a plaid pattern that I liked because I haven't seen any crochet plaid that I thought really was to my taste and this is what I've come up with and I'm going to now share it with you. This blanket is entirely made using a single crochet and the reason it looks more complex I suppose is because you're actually carrying over so as you can see right here I was crocheting in the white but I was carrying over the gray likewise here I was crocheting with the gray but you can see that it was over the charcoal so in every single row you're always going to be working with two colors and that might sound daunting, but it's actually very easy. And as I said before, I've been crocheting for less than a year, and this is what I was able to do. So in each row that you crochet, you'll always be working with two colors. Either you'll be working with the white and the gray, or you'll be working with the gray and the charcoal. You can make this blanket out of any group of three colors but I like using ones that are similar enough that um, give this nice illusion of the plaid so you're looking for shades that are ones lighter ones darker than each other um, I really like using the white as sort of uh, neutral but if you're going to do blue I'd recommend you know a navy and a light blue that look like they build into this darker color so each square is made by repeats of seven single crochets, then two single crochets in a contrasting color, then return to five single crochets in the same background color, then two single crochets in the same contrast color, return to seven single crochets in the background color. This is going to repeat, be repeated for 10 rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 rows makes this portion. You will then be switching colors and instead of using the gray and the charcoal, you're gonna switch and use the white and the gray. That's what creates this nice contrast in the intersection of the horizontal and vertical stripes. You'll follow the exact same pattern and do seven single crochets in the gray, two single crochets in the white, then five single crochets in the gray, two single crochets in the white, then finish it off with seven single crochets in the gray. By doing this, you'll get the nice same color stripes running both horizontally and vertically in each square. I made each horizontal stripe two rows. So I would switch my colors for two rows and then go back to the charcoal and the gray. You make this middle portion by repeating charcoal for seven, gray for two, charcoal for five, gray for two, charcoal for seven, for four rows. And then you simply switch back to your white and your gray to make another horizontal stripe by following the exact same pattern that you did for your first stripe. Then for this top section, you're repeating the charcoal and gray for 10 more rows and that makes the top portion of the square. I'm going to show you on a sample swatch because I'd completed this blanket weeks prior to filming this video. So you need your scissors, a tapestry needle, and a crochet hook. In addition to those items, you're going to need three colors of yarn. The dark color, in this case I'm using black, a medium color, so charcoal gray, and a light color, or white. And using these three colors, I'd started working out this swatch, which is just a two square repeat of the blanket that I've already showed you. 
So this is the swatch and I'm just using it to demonstrate how the blanket is worked. So as you crochet, you will always be crocheting over the second color. As you can see here, I'm crocheting with the gray color, but I'm crocheting over top the black just by carrying it along. And then it's just a simple single crochet over until the edge of the blanket to complete the square. When you get to the edge, you're going to chain one and then turn the blanket over. As you start the next row, you'll again lay the black flat across the top of your most recent row of stitches and you're going to crochet with the gray over that black. So you're going to do your single crochets carrying over the black for seven stitches. Before completing the seventh crochet, you're going to make sure that you pull through the, the black yarn so it's all taut on the blanket and you don't have any loops sticking out. So make sure that your black yarn is all tidy. And then you're going to finish your seventh crochet by pulling through a loop of the black yarn. Then you'll be able to do your first black crochet and then your second black crochet. You don't complete it and you instead pull through a loop of the gray yarn. You then continue crocheting with the gray yarn for five stitches in the middle of the two vertical black stripes. Before completing the fifth gray single crochet, you're going to pull through the black and use that to complete your one full black crochet and then your second before completing you pull through the gray yarn. You'll now finish this square by crocheting seven more gray single crochets and just as always you're crocheting right over top the black yarn. As you finish the gray square, you're going to again not complete the full single crochet and then you're going to finish it by pulling through the black yarn. You're now going to be working on the black square with gray stripes. So you're going to do seven black single crochets while crocheting over the gray yarn. When you get to the seventh single crochet before completing it, you will make sure to pull through the gray yarn. It's important to keep your one color in front of the other so that the two balls don't get twisted. So now you're going to do your one single crochet gray and in your second you'll pull through the black loop. You'll now do five black single crochets and before completing the fifth black single crochet you will pull through the gray yarn. Now you will do one gray single crochet and before completing the second, you pull through the black yarn. And as always, you finish the square with seven black single crochets, always crocheting over the gray yarn.
when you get to the edge of your work, you chain one and turn. You'll then repeat the next row in the exact same colors until you have 10 rows completed. When you come to the 10th row, you're going to drop the black yarn. You're still going to be using the gray, and now you're going to pull through a loop of the white. This is going to make the contrasting horizontal stitches across the blanket. So you pull through a loop of the white, chain one, then turn your work. You will now crochet over the gray yarn seven single crochet stitches using the white. You are now going to crochet with the white and gray the exact same pattern but in contrasting colors as opposed to the gray and black that were used in rows previous. So exactly like before when you come to the seventh single crochet you will finish it off by pulling through a loop of the gray then you will do your gray stripe and pull through a loop of white you'll do five single crochet white stitches and then before finishing the fifth you will pull through a loop of gray and do your gray stripe with one single crochet and on your second you will pull through the white loop and carry on to finish your square with seven white single crochets. You will repeat this for two rows and that will give you the contrasting horizontal stripes through the middle of the square. For a full size blanket, chain 95, then single crochet into the second chain from the hook. You can use either the white or the gray. I started with the white because that was what my first three crochet stitches would be. However, it doesn't matter because your tassels that you add will come in and cover that chain up. If you're going to gift this to someone as a baby blanket or someone who uh, wouldn't want the tassels, I'd recommend starting your chain in the same color as whatever border you intend to put on it. Around each edge of the blanket, I didn't want it to be lined up with a full square. I thought that looked too abrupt and starting and finishing the blanket on half squares looked more natural. So you'll simply finish each row by doing seven of the background color, two single crochets of the contrasting stripe color, then I finished it with three single crochets of the background color of each square and that gave it a nice natural look. So for this blanket, I had three full squares in the middle, 
with two half squares on each side and I found that to be wide enough for my purposes and I crocheted it to be quite big. I like my blankets big. I'm in northern Canada so I like to stay nice and cozy and I did it to be one, two, three, four, five full squares wide with again two partial squares on each edge. When I was crocheting this blanket on these rows instead of cutting and fastening off between each row I simply carried the yarn up along the side and I did that because I always like to finish my bl blankets with a nice crocheted edge. So to finish this blanket off, I sized down to a smaller crochet hook to get tighter stitches. And I simply did the exact same thing using the white and the gray along the side. And I carried, oh, I crocheted over the white when I was cr doing the edging of the gray stripes. Then I switched and I crocheted over the gray when I did the edging of the white. And that's how I finished it. And on the other ends, I added tassels and I added them to be white and gray so they'd be finishing off the stripes. I love how this blanket looks. It's so cozy, it's so Christmassy. And it was actually very simple to do. It took a minute to figure out how everything would work together, but I promise you, once you get started and you can even get your first base row done, everything else will start to make sense because it is truly a simple repeat. And for that reason, I think this has to be the easiest plaid crochet blanket that exists. And I really hope you will try it and